Hello students. Today we will going to discuss a topic from plus one chemistry chapter structure of atom and the topic is discovery of electron and proton. So first of all let's discuss discovery of electron with the discharge tube experiment. William Crookes in 19th century studied the conduction of electricity through gases at low pressure 10 raised to the minus 2 atmosphere in the form of rays when a high voltage is applied around it. These rays are called cathode rays. Later on J.J. Thomson studied the properties of cathode rays which led to the discovery of electron. Now let's discuss about the experiment. The apparatus of this experiment consists of a cylindrical hard glass tube about 50 centimeters long closed at both the ends. It is known as discharge tube or Crookes tube. It is fitted with two metallic electrodes. The tube is connected to a side tube through which it can be evacuated to any desired pressure with the help of a vacuum pump. The discharge tube is filled with a gas and the two electrodes are connected to a source of high voltage. When the pressure of the gas is decreased to about 10 days to per minus 2 atmosphere, the gas becomes conducting and the discharge tube started glowing. It was discovered that the glowing of the tube is due to the bombardment of the glass by certain rays emitted from the cathode. These rays were named cathode rays because they originate from the cathode. So this is all about the discharge tube experiment. Now let's discuss the nature of cathode rays by studying the properties of cathode rays one by one. So first is the cathode rays travel in straight line because the rays produce sharp shadow of solid object whenever placed inside the tube. The second property is the cathode rays produce mechanical effects. For example, when a small pedal wheel is placed between the electrodes, it starts rotating. This indicates that cathode rays are made up of material particles. The third property is these rays are negatively charged or the particles in cathode rays are negatively charged. Because when electric field is applied, they deflected towards the positive plate. Which means that these rays consist of particles that are negatively charged. Some other properties of cathode rays are, these rays produce heating effect. These rays ionize the gas through which they pass. And last is, they produce X-rays when strike against hard metals like tungsten, molybdenum, etc. Now let's discuss charge and mass of electron. J.J. Thomson determined the ratio of the charge of electron to its mass by measuring the deflection under the simultaneous influence of electric and magnetic fields applied perpendicular to each other. The ratio of charge to mass is same for all the cathode rays and it does not depend upon the nature of gas taken in the discharge tube and material of electrode. J.J. Thomson said that cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles called electrons.
the charge over mass that is e by m comes out to be 1.76 into 10 raised to power 11 coulomb per kilogram r a mullikan with the help of oil drop experiment found the charge on the electron the charge on the electron represented by small e is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb now we can easily find the mass of electron by dividing the charge on electron with charge over mass ratio that is e divided by e by m which is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb divided by 1.76 into 10 raised to power 11 coulomb per kilogram which comes out to be 9.11 into 10 raised to power minus 31 kilogram or 9.11 into 10 raised to power minus 28 gram thus electron may be defined as that fundamental particle which carries unit negative charge and has mass equal to 9.11 into 10 raised to power minus 31 kilogram or 1 by 1837th part of that of hydrogen atom that is this mass is very small and for all the practical purposes it may be taken as negligible after the discovery of electron let's discuss the discovery of proton the negatively charged particles in an atom shows that there must be some positively charged particles also as the atom as a whole is electrically neutral in 1836 e goldstein discovered that some rays were also coming from anode these rays were called as anode rays or positive rays or canal rays in this experiment goldstein made a small change that instead of solid cathode he used perforated cathode through which the anode rays can pass and strike the other end due to which the end of the electrode started glowing let's discuss the properties of anode rays some characteristics of anode rays are first is the anode rays also travel in straight line second the anode rays are deflected by the magnetic and electric field like cathode rays but the deflection is in the opposite direction to that of cathode rays third like cathode rays these rays also rotate the wheel placed in their path fourth is these rays also have heating effect and fifth is unlike cathode rays the charge to mass ratio of positive rays depends upon the nature of gas taken in the tube the positively charged particles are produced by the loss of one or more electrons from the neutral atoms of the gas therefore the mass of particles will depend upon the nature of the gas taken in the discharge tube let's discuss the charge and mass of proton unlike cathode rays the charge to mass ratio of anode rays was found to depend upon the nature of gas taken in the discharge tube in case of hydrogen the e by m ratio was maximum thus in case of hydrogen gas the charge over mass that is e by m comes out to be 9.58 into 10 raised to power 7 coulomb per kilogram the charge on these particles is same in magnitude but opposite in sign to that of an electron that is it has one unit positive charge the charge on proton represented by small e is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb this is same as that of electron 
but here the sign is positive. Now we can easily find the mass of proton small m by dividing the charge on proton with the charge over mass ratio that is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb divided by 9.58 into 10 to the power 7 coulomb per kilogram which comes out to be 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram or 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram this mass is about 1837 times the mass of an electron and is practically equal to that of hydrogen atom but for other gases it was the whole number multiple of this value thus atoms of other gases contains two or more than two protons thus a proton may be defined as that fundamental particle which carries a unit positive charge and has mass equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram or equals to that of a hydrogen atom if you like this video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates thanks for watching